Since it, it has turned down 8 million, okay, thank you. Sorry, I didn't want to answer this. That's why I moved on. Mm. We can move on. No, yeah, we can. All right, yeah. So, since it turns down 8 million naira deal with a Kayamata brand over personal ethics to brands, business, and she wrote to brands, businesses that I have and continue to reach out to me to influence products such as aphrodisiac such as Kayamata, body enhancement pills or products, and bleaching creams or products, please be advised that I will not be influencing or supporting the aforementioned pills, creams or products. And their likes, not now, not ever, no matter the money offered. Now that's out of the way, I want to wish you all a productive and prosperous new year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't look, Kayamata. Mm -hmm. You know that song? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I can't mm -hmm. sing it. Uh, MVC will call for us. Like, <laughs> Imagine that song to the end. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, I think I think it's becoming a trend where, you know, money is not the order of the day anymore, and people begin to actually think of um all their standards, the ethics, what they stand to represent, way beyond um what they stand to gain. You know, the money is never enough for your ethics, and you know, leading the young generation astray. And I think that makes sense. But you know what the Kayamata is, right? I do know what a Kayamata is. I know well, I know what it is. I know what yeah, it would do. I know what it is. But but um, I don't know if that's what it is. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. So Kayamata, with the from my knowledge, especially the, the the pages that I've been to, they're not necessarily spiritual. They're only spiritual until that girl came and said. I don't remember the girl that was trending last year mm. that, you know, you would take this guy and all of that. But it was supposed to be... No, there are different levels to it. Though. Mm. There are levels okay, to well, it. yeah. The level I knew about before last year was that, you the, know, there's, the a, there's a lot of people the that need... The juju part. Not the juju part. There's just <laughs> a lot the juju part. <laughs> that there's just some people that need assistance, right? Either with getting... Is this how... What rates in, is this program <laughs> you know that have an issue with you know witness or whatever or or things like that like that is a normal it's not a spiritual thing right whatever it is some people have that and they need assistance you see most of those pages don't even just sell that they'll sell things for mm. men as well and all of that what that is, that exactly? is a, i don't know if I, I don't know how to explain because i don't have men issues um so what two money should oh my gosh anyway so you know seeing that page to me that makes sense there's nothing wrong with it yes it's a, yes it's a adult business right and it's um, quite a tricky topic because mm -hmm. nobody wants to talk about sex in public anyway um but it didn't seem like something that was a taboo until recently last year when i started seeing some girl making a video how if you use it the charm will get this, this man. man's boy this woman's husband and this man will follow know, you everywhere and they'll spend because money. I was worried uh, for our friend MC Fish. His wife is actually one of the brand ambassadors for mm. one of these things. And she was talking about a perfume that you spray on your body. And the moment you use this, you begin to attract any man. That the richest or the richest will start getting attracted to you. Yeah, you see all that type of stuff is I'm really like, weird I'm like, why would a married woman want to be a brand ambassador to such mm. a product? Because you're married. Are you saying that was what you is, used you to want, get your you man? Want, yeah. Or, you, or are you, if you're are you using it. you trying to get other men? Exactly. Um, so that is a bit weird. You know, in that in that department and how it's done here, how it's marketed here in Nigeria, right. is about money. But abroad, like I know people, a lot of people who who endorse and buy the type of stuff, and the marketing is very different. You know, they make the... it very scientific. Like, oh, this is the reason why you're not doing this, and this thing will help your body go through this, and this no, is how it's going to affect this, your body this. and all of that. True, is you go to the supermarket, you're trying to get your baiting soap and all of that, and then you just see something tightening soap and all of that. Mm. I'd be wondering, like, why is it in the same? section as my soap mm -hmm. do you understand but you don't pick what you you need and you just mm -hmm. move on so i get where you're coming from that it's quite normal it is for, it's not a bad for thing people. it's not a bad thing if, if, but when they're trying let me use your language when they're trying to do the juju <laughs> that, that, that's the problem right yeah i think so so mm. for me it wasn't like i didn't really admire anything that sissy had said in mm. regards to like oh it's about my ethics because it's not to me personally it's not a bad thing like you can help people who lack in certain aspects of their sexual lives and that's not a problem to me if you need awareness or not there's a lot of people that struggle with that some people have tightness or or they're not tight because they've been traumatized before and they need mm. assistance like there's a, there's oh, they a, rode a lot of bicycles mm. 
Anyway, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but obviously context is important. I'm putting mm. it into the Nigerian context. I know exactly what she's trying to run away from, and I think that's cool. Um, it's a good. I know in the comment sections, people were saying, "But how will you throw away eight million? Think about it this way: there are some brands based on context of which I'm talking about now, where there's all juju, whatever. Um, juju. Juju. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This juju, whatever. The thing is um, that if she if she accepts that type of deal. There's a lot more deals that will repel away from her because their deal can their brand cannot be associated to somebody who's already with that kind of brand. So it's actually more even more so a business decision than just an ethics thing. I don't know if you, if you get what I mean. Mm. Like, so she's still going to make money by by turning off that decision. And once she starts that type of thing, the type of brands that will be attracted to her after that will also change and all that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's more for me personally. It's more of a good branding decision than ethics. So I don't really say anything wrong with it, but she said what she said. All right. So yeah, I don't want to too much to talk.